What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, representing high-level technicians operating globally and beyond. So listen, today I wanted to bring to close uh, the series presenting the modern masculinity movement. Now, in the first two parts, I covered different videos that I feel highlighted the need to present the masculine traits of Alpha. Why we need to embrace the warrior spirit and combine that spirit with the spirit of intellect and wisdom and amalgamate these spirits to present a new archetype, which is the Malik energy. Also, I reviewed uh, a great video by Kevin Samuels, which presented a case for marriage. I want to be clear about that. It was a case for marriage. I think he did a great job in explaining what an, a man with a masculine mastery framework um, and how he approaches modern marriage, even though there's so many pitfalls, even though there's a high divorce uh, rate, even though there's child support left and right. A masculine master, if, if he chooses to marry for the sake of legacy under the modern state of affairs in which legal marriage finds itself, it's not, it's not an issue because a modern masculine master knows that if something were to go wrong financially, everything that he built, he can simply rebuild. And so right now I just want to go over what I feel is the way forward. So in BGS's video, Young Adults Vulnerable to Automation, he admitted that uh, it was quote unquote fear porn, but he made some points that were certainly thought provoking in the, in the way that only BGS uh, Ed Moore, the master teacher can bring out. So people talk about an end game and when masculine men understand that this is only the beginning of a new chapter, then we'll start to understand what the way forward means. The way forward is a collective telling of our stories to each other and to our children. Now, this is essential considering that history is literally being rewritten in the classrooms across America. They're removing certain parts that uh, tell foundational Black American youth about their stake and their claim in building this country and the wealth in this country. The entrepreneurial spirit of those uh, for example, uh, in Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the industriousness of our engineers and our scientists and our surgeons and our best and our brightest, our athletes, our academics, and all of these points that get uh, no shine and go overlooked that men in this current space, in what I call the select manosphere, are starting to share amongst each other, are starting to share with their children, with their nephews, with the next generation to, to show them that, hey, there's another way. You don't just have to sit back and lament about uh, beta things or just uh, look at the news and feel depressed. No, there's so many things that you have in your arsenal naturally, but there's also so many things that Various men who are actually affecting tangible change have to offer you as an example of what your potential is. The way forward looks like uh, a catalog of our results of research. These are the results from our collective conscious. These are the results of all of our experiences. Sure, we have 
positive and negative experiences. But throughout all of this, all of these experiences, all of these experiences teach us the most important lesson of all. It teaches us who we are at the end of the day. Because the most important thing that a person, primarily a man, can find out about himself is his character. That's why we need alphas. That's why we need challenges. That's why we need moments to show up, to really bring out the best and the brightest and the bravest among us to show and blaze a path forward. The way forward is a dismantling and rebranding of historically damaging tropes within our community, such as the Pookie and Ray Ray trope and the Carlton archetypes, and the introduction of our own superlative archetypes, such as the Malik archetype, aka Genius Bruiser. Lastly, for the statement that BGS made, uh, which I feel was a lion call to all those who are worthy of carrying the mantle of leader within the community. BGS said that those who aren't ready and those who aren't prepared, in so many words, I'm paraphrasing, need to not be arguing over who can access whose vagina, but need to be coming together and need to grab a tent I say in response to that, that we don't need to be grabbing tents, that we need to be grabbing our torches. We do not need to be grabbing tents. We need to be grabbing our technology. We do not need to be grabbing tents. We need to empower our tech. We need to empower our teachers. We need to empower those who are brave enough to collaborate and innovate beyond the uncharted waters of automation. Because at the end of the day, every coward needs an excuse, but every champion needs a challenge. And to every man within the sound of my voice, I ask you this question. Which one are you? And as always, this is your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wing Man, saying stay sharp and mission focused. Later.